It is what it is. It is what it is. I want you guys to look at these records. These are the records through into the Sweet 16 by conference. I want you guys to see how the stark difference between the ACC, the Big East, and everybody else. With the ACC being at 8-1, and one, the Big East being at 6-0, and oh, and you know what the Big 12 and the SEC look like. This is where you get the strength of schedule from going into next year. Irrespective of new players coming in, new recruits, and transfer portal. This is where you get the strength of schedule. Next year, we better hear nothing but ACC and Big East. Nothing but ACC and Big East. Because all of these teams have a chance to win a national championship. ACC still has their four that they started with. Big East still has their three that they started with. And all of them have a shot. All of them got a shot. And if we hear from the Big 12 and SEC again, I'm going to throw something at the television. I don't want to hear about the Kentucky Wildcats next year. I don't want to hear about the Alabama Crimson Tide. Even though they're in the Sweet 16, they're out. They're going against North Carolina. I don't want to hear about TCU. I don't want to hear about BYU. I don't want to hear about the Baylor Bears. If I hear about something about the Baylor Bears, I'm going to throw. I don't want to hear about Baylor next year. They got beat by Clemson. We better have Clemson rated higher than Baylor next year, unless Baylor's bringing in some superstar. The Big 12 are at 7 and 6. And I know someone in the comments says, like, they had more bites of the apple because they had more teams. There are more teams. They are seven and six record right now. SEC is under 500. They both got eight teams in. What a disgrace. Kentucky is out. Houston just got through, or the Big 12 would have been even worse. And they're going to be out when they see Duke. Even though Duke's, this is not your your father's Duke Blue Devils, your grandfather's Duke Blue Devils. But because Houston has trouble scoring, Duke can beat Houston. Look at these records. You got the a Big Ten out of valiant effort at six and four. Still have two teams in Illinois and Purdue. Purdue can win the national championship. Illinois can get to Elite Eight. I don't see them winning the national championship, though. Mountain West at four and five. They got, I believe they got six teams in. Something like that. I believe they could be down to one team. I think it's just San Diego State for them. Stop overrating these conferences. Stop disrespecting the ACC and the Big Ten. Those teams win national championships. Duke, North Carolina, Connecticut win national championships. So stop disrespecting their leagues. We don't know how good these other conferences are because they don't beat anybody non-conference. Everybody this year non-conference has a win against Baylor. Everybody you want to think of, beat Baylor, and that's their big win. TCU, Texas, those are football schools. Pittsburgh should have made the tournament. Why do I say that? Because the ACC is dominating right now, and their four teams made it. For someone that says that the, the Big 12 and the SEC got eight teams, so they had more bites at the apple that will affect their record, that doesn't mean the ACC had to get all four of their teams into the Sweet 16. That means all four of their teams won, won two games at least, with Virginia losing their first four game. Big East had three teams, three bites at the apple. All three of them are through. All of them can win a national championship. Marquette can win a national championship because they have Colic back. UConn is the best team in the country. So stop disrespecting these two leagues. Next year, if SEC gets two, eight teams, seven teams, I'm throwing something at the television. If I hear Jay Billis talking about Kentucky has a Final Four offensive again, I'm throwing, I'm throwing something at the television. Because these guys are not watching the games. Those teams are trash, and they all play the same exact way. In the Big East, you may get a team playing a matchup zone, a 3-2 zone, a 2-3 zone. They could, all, they could defend properly and play tough man-to-man -man with totally different styles offensively. You go to the SEC, they all play the same way. They all play that dribble-drive garbage that Kentucky plays. Looking for the three. Show some respect to the Blue Bloods. And I'm talking about the Blue Bloods in the Big East and the ACC.
show some respect. The same respect Kentucky gets, give that same respect to North Carolina and Duke, and now UConn. They play in tough leagues. St. John's and Seton Hall would not have been out in the 64. And how can I confidently say that? Because their conference, the teams that came out of their conference win their tournament games. They don't bow out like Mississippi State did against Michigan State. That was a disgrace. They don't bow out like South Carolina did. Florida's out. Did I already talk about BYU? Yeah, I talked about BYU already. They don't bow out like those teams did. 8-1, 6-0, everybody's got a shot at the national championship. 